Hi guys, Matt here. So today I wanted to show you how to bend rebar ends. So what I'm doing is I'm putting down landscape timbers for delineation markers between parking spaces. And instead of getting spikes, they're about 12 inches you can buy, basically big nails. I'm doing rebar. That way they're two feet, six inches long. I'm bending the end. That's about two and a half inches-ish. And I'll drive these down into landscape timbers, and this will prevent it from going down in the timber, if that makes sense. It's going to be basically the head of the nail. I've already done several of them. I'm just making more parking spaces, and I figured I would show you how to do it. I tried bending the rebar a couple different ways. Some ways worked, some ways didn't. This is super easy. So I wanted to share the wealth on that and show you how to do it in case you're doing something similar. So... Fill on a pair of gloves here. So the lighting isn't the best here in the basement. I don't have all the windows and open, everything open. I'm just showing you this real quick. Basically you get a pipe. Doesn't matter really how long it is. This one's about three and a half feet. Slide your piece of rebar down in the pipe and put it in the vise. If you have rebar sticking down out of the pipe, slide that in, down in. I'm just letting it rest on the spine of the vise, if you will. So that's what's giving me that length, approximately two and a half inches. This is my bent piece, if you will. I tighten it down and then I reach up on the bar, keep one hand here, one end on the end of the pipe, and just bend straight over. And then slide the pipe off. And tighten the vise. And you got your bent rebar. So I'm just repeating that process with all of these because I'm doing a lot of parking spaces. I'll show you another one here. It goes super quick, super easy. If you take these somewhere to have them bent, they're gonna charge you quite a bit to do it, respectively anyway. If you have a vise and a piece of pipe, you can do it yourself. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure. That's, that's pretty easy. It might be, 20 pounds of pressure or so to bend that pipe down. So if you don't have a lot of strength or you're not able to do a lot of pressure on it, that's okay. It doesn't really take a lot. I'm gonna do a couple more here. Just, and so put it in, bend it down. And keep in mind, and just keep in mind if that takes too much strength to bend that for you, get a longer pipe and that increased leverage will decrease the pressure that it takes to bend it. Do one last here. All right, bend that over. Slide it off, on to the next. All right guys, I just wanted to make this a quick video because it was a super helpful tip and I thought I'd share it. As always, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.